In this video, we are going to learn how to add vectors graphically or using the head to tail method. We have these three vectors A, 12 meter per second, 45 degrees, B, 8 meter per second, 330 degrees, C, 10 meter per second, 250 degrees. Remember that the angle is uh, counted from the positive x-axis from here let's say going in an anti-clockwise direction all right counterclockwise direction 45 whether it's 30 whether it's 45 or 330 or 250 the first thing to do here in such questions is to um, define a scale as you all know that we cannot draw 12 meter per second what we can draw is length and length is in centimeters especially if we are drawing on a piece of paper so my scale has to be uh, also convenient you have 12 8 and 10 I think that the best scale here is one centimeter representing if we say four meter per second so according to this scale the 12 meter per second will be three centimeters eight will be two and ten will be 2.5 centimeters okay now after defining the scale we proceed to drawing each vector now here I have three coordinate systems I will draw A here, B here and C here then we combine them into one figure using the head to tail method so starting with A 45 degrees so I will use a protractor place the origin of the coordinate system at the origin of the protractor and I have to go from this zero up counterclockwise to 45 as you see here 45 is over here I will mark this point and I draw the vector this is 45 now I have to take care of the of the length of this vector. The length is, as we said, three centimeters. So here is the ruler. Uh, it's a little bit more than. Three. I'll make it shorter. This is three. Yeah. Okay. So this is for the first uh, vector. together it's here okay and I make some markings here so this is 45 degrees and this is vector A now for B we do the same thing 8 centimeters I mean 8 meter per second so 2 centimeters and 330 degrees 330 degrees uh, and it's in the third quadrant the first quadrant is from 0 to 90 the second from 90 to 180 the third is 180 to 70 and the fourth is 270 to 360 so 330 degrees will be here in this quadrant well, how do you measure 330 degrees as you know that 330 degrees is uh, um, 
30 degrees less than 360. So I go all the way here and 30 degrees less or away from this axis. So I will rotate this protractor upside down. Put here the zero. Okay, I measure 30 degrees from zero downward. So 30 degrees is here. Now I draw the vector. Using the blue color. This is 30 degrees. Okay, now the size of the length of the arrow, the length of the arrow is two. Two centimeters. Now rotate this ruler. I'm showing you here exactly what you have to do on your paper. Using the ruler, using the protractor. Of course, it's much easier on the paper. Measuring the length. Okay, I want to uh, two centimeters. So taking it back. And this is two two centimeters. Okay, so this is vector B, and the angle here. Oh, sorry. The angle starts from here. From the positive x axis all the way down to be this is 330 degrees. Okay, we continue with C. C is 10 centimeters, I mean 10 meters per second, so 2.5 centimeters and 250. 250 again. Uh, this angle from here to here is 270 so and my angle is 250 so I have to be 20 degrees away from the negative y-axis so how can how do I put my protractor I rotate it here and I want to measure 20 degrees from the negative y-axis Right, so this is 20 degrees. And I draw the vector. Twenty. Okay. I still have to take care of the length of the arrow, two point five centimeters. Okay, I will erase this stuff here. Okay, and then I get the ruler. Okay. So 2.5, is that 2.5? This is 2.5, very good. Okay, so now label C. And this angle here is 250, yeah. Oh, okay. Very good. So we don't need this anymore. Delete and delete. Okay. Now I'll use the green here instead of red. No problem. Now I have to move these vectors. I put them head to tail. I will keep A in its place and I will move. B 
to the tip of A, then C to the tip of B, to make them head to tail. Uh, first, I will group all this diagram all together to, to move it all together. Grouping, group, okay. And place the, the tail of B at the tip of A, which is the origin here. Okay, here we go. Let me take A here, oh, and do. Yet. Group. Okay. Take here. Scroll down. Bring B to tip of A. Very good. Okay, now for C, same thing, place it at the tip of B. All right, now the resultant of those three vectors is drawn from the tail of A to the tip of C. From the tail of A here, the tip of C here, so this is my arrow. All right, and this is my resultant R. This is my diagram. Now, the question is to find the resultant. And to find the resultant, you, know, you have to find the magnitude of this resultant and the direction of this resultant. The magnitude is simply measured or found by measuring the length of this arrow in centimeters, then using the scale we convert to meter per second. Second, direction is by measuring the angle, the angle that R makes with the positive x-axis going counterclockwise or this angle. All right? So first, let's measure the angle. To measure the angle, it's enough to measure this small acute angle here, right? If I know this angle, I subtract from 360, I get the other one. So I have to flip this. A bit higher, come on. Okay, so here the angle zero, ten, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three point five, twenty-three degrees. Let's say this is twenty-three degrees. So theta is how much then? As we said, three sixty minus 23 degrees, right, which is 337 degrees. Good. Now, for the length, size of the arrow, we use the ruler. It is 3.3 centimeters and R is 3.3 centimeters which is equal to remember that the scale is 1 centimeters to 4 meters per second so I have to multiply this by 4 to turn it or change it into meter per second so 4 times 3 is 12, 
12, so 3, 12 plus 1.2, so 13.2 meter per second. So this is the magnitude of R, and this is the direction of R. So the final answer R is equal to 13.2 meter per second semicolon 337 degrees this is my final answer I hope you understood this um, you exactly follow the same steps on, on your notebook uh, be careful in using the protractor and measuring the angles be very accurate because this is a graphical method we have to be uh, very accurate in terms of measurements and size of arrows and angles okay thank you very much bye bye